Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Phantom Strategies. So in this morning video, I want to talk about Bitcoin price action and um, I'm just a little bit puzzled by why why we are seeing this uh, this pullback in Bitcoin because on Friday we were set up for a really nice um, bull run toward that 11,000 mark. Everything was placed uh, for that 11,000 bull run on Friday and everything in the news was nothing that was red flag technically speaking everything was looking well to have that run toward the 11,000 mark and so I, I'm just drinking my coffee morning coffee and just trying to do some research on it trying to figure out what exactly uh, why are we trying to get that pullback and you know it just doesn't add up a lot of things as I'm looking at it just doesn't add up there is there shouldn't be this kind of pullback at those level where we should have been running for that 11,000 mark um, into the weekend and especially into the Friday and then I started looking into the volume it tells me that there is just like you know um, if I look at the smaller picture so I'm looking at the one hour time frame um, <clears throat> if I look at the smaller picture this is this uh, the selling that happened it on the, on Friday that was very like you know um, it was it wasn't a, like a panic selling or it wasn't like uh, some uh, news or um, news outlet that reported any like you know fraud news it wasn't like you know so it was very like you know or you're taking a profit someone took a profit um, where it, you should have been making a case for a bull run and that kind of tells me that uh, gives me an idea or gives me uh, that viewpoint that someone is uh, was trying to at least trying to manipulate the price action in Bitcoin into the weekend um, and that happens in every market it happens in uh, stock market it happens in you know commodity market it happens in futures market uh, especially when the volume is low it happens when volume is low especially during the weekend um, you can see like you know during the weekend a trader who has a decent pocket can come in and manipulate the price action and try to create that mini panic in a sense that they try to sell or short sell something where people should have been going long and try to create some kind of like you know a ripple effect and then other traders come in and they try to question themselves asking that question that hey does some someone else know something that I don't and then they try to the other seller try to put the stop losses you know or pull some position out of the market and that's what I'm seeing that happen in last few days uh, and this is um, this is this is definitely look like that someone was playing uh, some games you know just like um, because we were extremely nicely set up for that run and um, there was no nothing in that media nothing in the news that should have prevented this uh, pullback like we did in last two days everything I looked at the global market everything in the global market was looking good um, I looked at the daily for the global we we ended up very bullish on the global market on Friday so having the weakness in Bitcoin the way that we are seeing is a little bit questioning it's a little bit like you know I it's it's not natural <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say it's not this pullback in Bitcoin over the la past two days it's definitely not a natural pullback it's, it's manipulated in my opinion it seems very um, fabricated it, it's it's not a, a event driven pullback or even a, a technical uh, uh, pullback it's more a pullback who is trying to someone or a group of people it doesn't have to be a one individual with deep pocket it could be a group of individual who are 
may be manipulating the price action into the weekend because they know that the volume is always low on the lower side and it, and it's easy to manipulate that price action into the weekend if you have enough guts and enough i mean this is not your typical 2017 market all right this market has changed in 2018 you have so many different type of people who got into this market some people who are very um, savvy you always every market that you trade you will always have bad apples you have good apples and you have bad apples and there is always that few apple bad apple who comes in and you know try to like screw up the whole thing screw up the whole setup and this is what I'm seeing there this is like it's, it's it's kind of sad because like you know it's uh, you know it, it was like nicely setting up but like some people just want to screw up the whole setup and if they if they have enough like money if they have like you know maybe a liquid position like a couple of uh, even like you know five hundred thousand or million dollars sitting in the um, liquid position if they go in short they can easily manipulate this market into the weekend because of the lower volume. Um, and that what that what that does is creates a, that you know domino effect where some other traders who are like you know watching or trying to trade the market they see that and they're like oh we have we have this fake out right here um, this is not uh, you know it's, there is no confirmation and so they try to tighten up their stop losses pull the some position out of the market and then it just creates the domino effect that's what i'm seeing right now and this because on the friday night there was no argument on the bear side that we would have that pullback all the stacks were all all the like odds were in favor of the bull side for the run toward that 11000 mark and all of a sudden it seemed like not just like you know um, it wasn't a market decision to like you know have this pullback it was more of a a group of individuals or probably uh, like a uh, maybe one or two traders with a deep pocket who have put in those sell orders or put in those short order orders um, so be very mindful and that's that's very one reason I always say make sure you have a proper risk management techniques and proper risk management setup because no one can no one will come and protect your portfolio other than yourself okay i hope that that is getting getting really really clear and getting like you know getting really stuck in your head now that no one will be i cannot do that your uh, your friend cannot do that your mom cannot do that your dad cannot do that your you know your spouse cannot do that you have to do it because you are the one who are pulling the trigger on the market all right so the first thing that you want to do is like you know you want to have a proper risk management and this market is i'm telling you this market is not as easy 2018 i i'm just getting this feeling is not going to be as easy as you know 2017 where everything looked rosy and we were in the nice um you know <clears throat> bull run there are a lot of traders who are coming into this market who are very they will have they have like this you know algorithms this uh, you know the trading algorithms they will just put in and try to get like the maximum uh, it's it's all numbers game and this trading algorithms they are just they are brutal they are especially into the lower volume and give them a low volume and the trading algorithms will like you know mess up the whole chart you know they, they will mess up the whole charting pattern because lower in the low volume few traders or a, like even one trader with a deep pocket can easily make a huge impact okay <clears throat> so that being said um, we are coming to this support level right now um, the first one the major support that I see is around 9038 and that should be a good support level this data is coming from coinbase we're looking at the eight hour time frame <clears throat> so for the short term that's the that's the support level on the resistance side on the short term the resistance that we need to clear is going to be about 9800 we need to get out of the resistance in short term all right um, 
I'm still puzzled by like you know and then I went back and you know I was looking at the uh, looking at the news there is like you know uh, be very cautious about this pump and dump you know there are a lot of there are a lot of groups like you know out there who are um, who do this pump and dump thing like um, I was reading this article there like you know um, there are groups on like telegram um, is, is the groups on like who try to like you know hey look like altcoin pumping 2.2 next pump at bitrex in just two hours stay ready I mean it's, it's just stay away from these things you know it's just that's why I that's why I always tell you guys that like only certain percentage of your portfolio should be in this altcoins because they are in very early adoption phase right now they are not like they haven't proven themselves yet they haven't been like you know there haven't been enough trading out them on that on the altcoins yet so it's a lot of there are these are all bad apples you know this these people are just taking advantage of like you know the you know people who uh, new investors who are just coming into this market for the first time so Please be mindful. Please don't like you know just blindfold uh, like um, blindfoldedly like you know follow or invest into some coin. Yeah, there are plenty of people. I I see it on the YouTube as well. I mean, there's some of these guys are like insane. Like how they are like predicting a ripple to ten dollars by year end. You know, ripple to moon, uh, Tron to moon, and like you know it, it's uh, and then there's a big you know big channels like you know the superman guy who is this guy i mean seriously i i watched some of his videos and i'm like just pulling my hair right? like it is it's insane there, there there's there's one guy um the trevor james guy it's i mean these guys have hundreds of thousands of followers but they have like uh, first of all i don't know like how how could you have so many followers when you're giving out such a like like misguiding lot of your viewers um it's just sad so just please please be mindful you know just be be an educated investor like be an educated like trader so you are here for a long run don't be don't try to run that like you know 100 meter sprint and get like you know that's it you're here for a marathon so just please be very mindful this is a long-term game um set yourself for a long-term gain all right so um um yeah the news were like you know i again i'm i'm just puzzled i'm like you know it just um there's nothing that like um puts a red flag on that pullback and only explanation is this is this is done by a group of a trader or a group of investors who are trying to manipulate the price action uh, due to the low volume and then that's ca causing this domino effect now for other traders to let uh, have a create a mini panic into the into the price action for the Bitcoin um, that being said um, you know let's see how the whole market holds up when um, when we open up tomorrow and do the regular session I want to see if we are getting um, are the traders coming in and buying this price action or if they are not ready yet so that's a question and right now you know you, you just want to make sure you're doing your proper risk management you're putting your trade in if you're planning to get into a bitcoin then go small you know don't go very large positions you go a small position try to add up those position maybe like every 20 percent it goes down you add more position but like you know do that risk management i'm that's what i'm to my email subscribers that's what i'm like telling them right now as well um not to like you know uh basically like being very cautious on some of this uh uh this price action action in the bitcoin and the altcoins um so that's all guys you know that's uh i just wanted to have this quick uh morning update uh for bitcoin and kind of like you know give you like what i'm looking at and what i'm thinking why why we had this um you know pullback over the weekend uh, where there was no there was no case for that the real case was for that run toward that eleven thousand mark we were set pretty good technically speaking um the global market ended up really nicely solid um on friday so and and seeing this pullback um into the weekend um it wasn't really it it wasn't market pullback it was more created uh, by a few few traders or few bad apples if you will and um in, in this um crypto world all right uh, 
let me let me know your thoughts let me know uh, what do you think post it in the comment if you have heard anything if you if you if you think um, if you think this pullback is um, you know sustainable or if you think you know we're gonna get a bounce let me uh, let me know what do you think about it and I will definitely provide you my comment um, in in that uh, comment section as well all right talk to you soon and I will do some more altcoins um, if you're new to the channel please subscribe to the channel I post new content every day hit those notification bell icon so whenever I post this videos you can get them right away uh, if you think you learned something today if you think this is helping you in your investment in your trading please give me a thumbs up that really means a lot to me um, puts a puts a smile on my face sometimes so <laughs> um, I really appreciate those I um, I genuinely do appreciate that and uh, I don't want to I want to make sure that uh, you know uh, whatever the advice what whatever like you know the content that I'm putting on the channel I wanna I wanna be very like you know unbiased I want to make sure I'm telling you as it is yes there, there there can be plenty of opportunity where it can be like you know goes against us that's why I keep on telling you there is no there is no magic ball but the real game the real key is how you manage your trades that's the real thing okay there is no magic ball there is like the, you trade on probabilities you the thing that you're trying to do here is stacking the odds in your favor that's it all right keep it simple all right talk to you soon bye